Watch over 200 lessons on youtube.com slash pgmpiano. Hi guys, welcome to this easy lesson which is Clocks by Coldplay. I'm gonna teach you how to play the entire song, so if you want to learn it, just keep on watching. Now I've also made an original lesson for this song which is a bit more difficult and I will teach you both the instrumental part and the vocal line. It's really cool, so if you wanna learn that, please take a look in the description box down below. And if I've made a cover for this song, you can also find it in the description box as well. Now this song is really cool to play and in this lesson, the easy lesson, I'm gonna show you how to play the entire song. It's very cool and it's absolutely great if you're just starting out to play the piano because it's such a beautiful song. And as you will see, it's a lot of fun to learn it and to play it. You need to learn five small parts. So let's take a look at the first one and then I'll tell you exactly how to play it. Okay, so the left hand is gonna play an E flat octave, followed by a B flat octave, and then you just play the F right here. Now, if you don't know what an octave is, it just means you play two of the same notes at the same time. Okay, so we've got an E flat right here, and a lower E flat right there. Play them at the same time. The same goes for the B flat octaves, and then you just play the F. So the right hand is gonna play E flat, B flat, and G. Okay, and instead of playing them all together, you're actually gonna start it on the highest note, then go to the middle, and then to the bottom. And you do that again, and then another time, but you only play these two notes, okay? So E flat and B flat. So for the right hand, it's gonna be E flat, B flat, G, E flat, B flat, G, E flat, B flat. Like that, okay? Now the pattern for all of the four chords is gonna be exactly the same, okay? So top note, middle note, bottom, top, middle, bottom, top, middle. So you move on to the next one. Top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom, top, middle. Okay, and because you have to repeat this chord, you do it again. Okay, and then again. Like that, okay? So let's do the right hand first. Then so the next chord. And you start this chord again. And then the final chord. Like that, okay? So we're basically just playing these three chords and we apply the pattern. Just like that. Now let's put the left hand in there as well. So what we'll do is we'll combine it with the first note of every chord. So together right here and then just... And then together right here. Now, for this chord, you're not going to play the left hand twice, okay? So it's just once in the beginning. Like that, okay. And then the F. Like that, okay? So... Okay, that's the first part you need to know. Now if you want to, some people like to do that, you can also play exactly the same in the left hand as in the right hand. So you get this. Okay, that's optional. If you want to do that, if you can do that, that's fine, obviously. Um, but for this version, I'd, I'd definitely start out here. Okay, it's nice and soft, and you can always do that other part later on in the song. For now, let's take a look at the second part you need to learn. Okay, so that's a bunch of notes, but what we're actually doing is we're playing exactly the same chords as here. Okay. These three chords, but now we're playing them an octave lower, okay? So right hand plays E flat, B flat, and G. And then you're going to play B flat, D flat, and F. Okay. And A flat, C, F. Okay. So. Like that. The left hand plays octaves. So an E flat octave, a B flat octave, and an F octave. Let's just play left and right together. And keep in mind that you have to play that second chord twice. So. Just like that. However, we can also apply a little bit of a pattern to the right hand. Like that, okay? And what I basically want you to realize there is that I play the right hand three times and I want to get that I want to get that in there, okay, like this. But then I also want to use my left hand so I get this.
Okay, so how do I do that? What I do is I play them together. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so together, left, right, left, right, left. Then I move on to the next chord. Together, left, right, left, right, left. And I have to play this chord again. And I'm just playing my thumb, as you may have noticed. Okay, so it's together, and then just the thumb. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so I'm going to do that here as well. Together, left, right, left, right, left. But now I'm not going to initiate it again, okay, because we've already done that for this chord. So I'm just going to continue right, left, right, left, right, left. Onto the final chord. Together, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so let me do that one more time. Together, left, right, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, let's do that one more time slowly and then we'll take a look at the third part. Now, by the way, if you want to learn more about how to play chords, I've got a main chord lesson in the description box as well for you guys. And it basically teaches you how to play any song that I've put up here in an easy lesson. So like, for instance, this one in less than 10 minutes. So if you learn the skills there, it will help you so much in the future to play a song like this in 10 minutes. I literally played this song in like 10 minutes and I even had to figure it out. So don't worry about that. Take a look at that lesson when you have a time. You don't have to do it right now, but make sure to do it in the near future and you'll be able to play songs like this before you even know it. For now, let's take a look at that third part. Okay, so this is the part where he's singing and nothing else compares, okay? So the left hand is playing a G flat octave, followed by a D flat octave and an A flat octave. So the right hand plays B flat, D flat and G flat together. And you'll do that chord again, followed by A flat, D flat and F, and A flat, C and E flat, okay? And guess what? You hear the same pattern, right? There's three times per chord. Boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha, cha. Um, so we're gonna do exactly the same pattern as we did in the previous part. Okay, like that. However, right now we're gonna play that first chord two times. And then move on to the second chord. And the final chord. Now when you play this part, you have to repeat this slide for three times and then the final time, instead of doing these two chords as well, you're just going to play the G flat chord for four times in a row. Like that, okay? And then the song continues. You will hear that in the song. Just listen to the original song and you will get that. Anyway, I will tell you how to do that at the end of this lesson because then I'm going to tell you how to put the entire song together. So don't worry about that for now. We've got two small parts left that you need to learn and then I'll tell you how to put this song together. Okay, this is my favorite part of the song. Um, we're basically going to play exactly the same pattern as we did in the beginning beginning of the song, okay, the first slide, but now the left hand is playing those, uh, those three notes. So, doo, boom, boom. You hear that throughout the entire song, okay? Um, like that, okay? The right hand is now playing A flat, G, E flat, okay? And so you play A flat, G, D flat, and just as in the first slide, you're going to repeat that, uh, that one, so... And then you play A flat, G and C. Right there. Okay, so like this. Just like that. So left hand is playing an E flat octave, followed by a B flat octave and an F octave right here. Okay, so make sure to come up, don't go down. And as I said, you're going to play the, the octaves for three times each. So when do you combine them? Well, together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, like that. 
together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. And then right here on the final one. Together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Okay, let's do that one more time slowly and then we'll take a look at the very last part you need to learn. And then you know how to play clocks by core play. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Okay, now all we need to learn is a part where he sings home, home where I wanted to go. That little part, okay? So let me show you how to do that and then we'll finish up the lesson. So right now what you do is you play an E flat octave in the left hand followed by a B flat octave and an A flat octave. So right hand plays E flat, B flat and G and then B flat, D flat and F you're going to play that chord twice as long as the other ones, and then A flat, C, and E flat. Okay? So you're going to base your right hand on those three impact moments, basically. Like that. The left hand is going to play the octave, and then you're going to repeat your thumb for seven times. Okay, so eight times total. Like that. Then the octave and do the thumb for 15 times because we have to do this octave twice as long. Okay, and then the octave and the thumb for eight times again. Okay, so how do we combine them? We combine right and left on the first, the fourth, and the seventh note. Okay, so together, left, left, together, left, left, together, left. Together, left, left, together, left, left, together, left. Okay, and again, this will be the first note again. So together, left, left, together, left, left, together, left. And together, left, left, together, left, left, together, left. Okay, so like this. Just like that. Let me do that one more time slowly and then I'll finish up the entire song. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to tell you how to finish up the entire song, but before I do that, let me quickly remind you to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, so other people can find it as well and learn how to play this song. And if you want to, you can actually download this lesson via the link in the description box down below. And when you do, you also get those handy slides to use above the piano. And they come in especially handy in this part because they're numbered and you can print them out, so you know exactly which slide I'm talking about. For now, let's put this song together. Okay, so you're obviously going to start by playing slide one. You do it for four times. It's like this. You know, like that. Um, but what I do is I play it like this for two times. And then the second two times I'm going to do my left hand. Like that, okay? Or with just a single F. So... Like that, okay? But that's optional, that's if you want to do that. So, four times for slide one. Then you move on to slide two. Okay, remember that one. You're going to play that for four times as well. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this entire stuff. So play slide one again for four times and slide two for four times. This time I definitely advise you to do the three times in the left hand for slide one, okay? like that. I definitely advise you to do that for all of the four repetitions. So we've got slide one for four times, slide two for four times, slide one for four times, slide two for four times, and now we're moving on with slide one again for four times, and then you're going to do slide three, remember? You do it in total for three times, and as I said, you're going to do it then another time, so four times in total, but the last time it's just going to be the G flat chord, or, if you want to, you can also go back from the G flat chord to the D flat chord, back to the G flat chord and the D flat chord. Okay, so out of this. Or go back and forth. So 
that's optional, okay? Then you're moving on again, and what you do now is you play slide one for two times, and then slide four for two times, okay? Remember slide four? That one, okay? You play that for two times as well. And then you're gonna play slide five, okay? Remember the one? Um, and you'll play that for four times in a row, and then you're gonna finish up by playing slide four for um, two times, and you'll have completed the entire song. So again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to stay subscribed to the channel because I'm uploading over 200 lessons each year. And most importantly, keep playing.